okay in continuation of the part 2 lecture in the lecture 2 we discussed regarding powers of the central government for the control of uh, environment protection in this video we are discussing regarding the appointment of officers and their powers and functions under the environment protection act without prejudice the provisions of subsection 3 of section 3 the central government can appoint officers with such designations who thinks fit for the purpose of this act and they entrust upon them the powers and functions under the act if they if it deems fit the officers appointed under this act we have a general control and direction of central government if so directed by the government and also they have the authority if constituted under the under the act they have been uh, they have been appointed and powers have been given to them powers to give direction subject to the provision of the act central government have given have exercised the powers and performance for for its functioning under the act they issue directions in writing to any person officer or authority and such person shall be bound to comply with such directions for avoidance of doubts it is declared that power to issue directions under the section for closure prohibition regulation of any industry operation or process the stoppage or regulation of the supply of electricity or water or any other service these are the rules to regulate environmental pollution the central government by notification in the official gazette makes rules in respect in to control regulate environmental pollution that is with respect to like such rules have been given to take care of standards of quality of air water or soil for various areas and purpose in case of air pollution in case of water in case of soil so in case of soil pollution and all where in garbage and all is dumped like anything in case of water pollution the factory discharges the water without treatment and all in case of air pollution the the dust the particles certain kind of uh, fuels and all uh, smoke and all will be discharged by the factory so the standards have been given by the authority control department for controlling of air water and soil for various areas and purposes and the maximum allowable limits for concentration of various environmental pollutants including noise for different areas even we have been seen like in industrial areas the pollutants the the noise or it can be a, a discharge of water if it can be dumping of any garbage disposing of any hazardous substance and all a maximum allowable limit and the concentration also is mentioned in the act and the rules directions have been given by the concerned department and for the procedure and safeguard for the handling of hazardous substances hazardous dangerous for even for human also for the environment also for the property also and prohibition and restriction of handling of hazardous substance in different areas next prohibition and restriction of location of industry and carrying on any process and operations in different areas so usually industries are set up in industrial area not in residential area and all so this they provide this act provides a no rules directions even for setting up for industries location of industries and for carrying out their operations activities as well next is the procedure and safeguard for prevention of accidents which may cause environmental pollution for providing remedial measures for such accidents next is case studies under the act taj mahal case taj mahal case 15 when the supreme court issued directions that coal and coke based industries in taj trapezium which were damaging taj should either change over to natural gas or to be relocated outside the taj trapezium the court was conscious that environmental changes that are the inevitable consequences of industrial development in our country but at the same time the quality of environment cannot be permitted to be damaged by polluting the air water and land to such an extent that it becomes health hazardous for the residents of the area showing deep concern to the environment the court observed that every citizen has a right to fresh air and to live in pollution free environment 
okay this was the issues with respect to taj mahal case where in nearby industries the coal and coke based industries the discharge of uh, smoke the dust particles which made the white taj mahal which turned the white taj mahal into the yellow taj mahal so that was the case where in the supreme court the court issued directions for the industries for not to damage the any monuments over natural gas or to be relocated outside the taj trapezium they issued directions to the industry with showing deep concern to the environment as well as for the every citizen he has a right for fresh air and to live in a pollution free environment otherwise it would be causing serious damage for the environment also for the human beings also And the next case is Ganges pollution case. The Supreme Court of India, reacting to the public interest litigation, has passed several judgments and number of orders against polluting industries, numbering more than fifty thousand in the Ganga Basin. As a result of these directions, millions of people have been saved from the effects of air and water pollution in Ganga Basin, covering eight states in India. but then we still had more polluted water in ganga basin but a uh, uh, honorable prime minister narendra modi he took a challenge for cleaning of this ganga basin and cleaned the water the water water and the river and almost now 90% of the river have been cleaned river has been cleaned the water has been cleaned and it is uh, fit for uh, even for the wholesomeness of water is also clean we have like this many cases like this where in industries the factories are affecting the monuments the natural environment the plant life the water bodies everything okay so environment is so important where environment refers to our atmosphere which provides like uh, our uh, raw materials or input for industries like it can be a lighting it can be a heating it can be a water land everything but in the present scenario we are giving most importance for industrial development for infrastructure development like roadways bridges and for development of infrastructure and all we are cutting the trees we are widening the roads and in turn we are destroying our environment only like many environmental crisis only has been happened and we are facing many environmental issues like pollution of air water soil deforestation release of certain toxic substances on the land which in turn affect our human life also the plant life also the biodiversity also aquatic animals wildlife everything and all these kind of pollutants also damages or causes brings diseases and even for death to humans damage to the living organisms food crops and natural environment and because of lot of vehicular emissions which is releasing all the substances which are affecting the air and which causes ozone which causes ozone depleting uh, gives ozone depleting substances and uh, uh, protection of ozone layer is also very much important for us which lead to the depletion of ozone layer for example like chlorofluorocarbon is one of the example for ozone depletion substances which releases from refrigerators coolers etc like this many environmental issues are happening which are hazardous to the environment for uh, for a healthy environment and for uh, human life also for diverse biodiversity also for wildlife also for forestry also so in order to maintain a healthy environment we need to protect our environment and whatever the activities the actions the developmental activities we are taking care with respect to for protection and control of pollution we have to carry out our activities so for the purpose of uh, uh, legislating or to control the environment this act have been passed and in this act in this uh, part 1 2 and 3 we covered regarding the introduction for the environment protection act the historical background of the act objectives of the act 
important definitions like what is environment what is environment pollutant what is environment pollution what do you what do you mean by handling types of environmental pollution then powers of the central government appointment of officers and powers and directions a legal mechanism in relation to environment protection and case studies on environment protection we discussed in today's session thank you one and all for watching thank you